Welcome to our lecture online. Our next example has a little surprise for us. But we should still start solving it the same way as we always do. We see that we have an equation that has rational expressions, so we're going to find the lowest common denominator. However, since we have two fractions that equal to each other, we could employ the technique that's a little bit easier by using this. We could say that a over b equals c over d. We can cross multiply this way, we can cross multiply this way, and write that a times d equals b times c. So we can do the same thing over here. We can multiply these two together, we can multiply those two together, and this becomes x minus 3 times 2x minus 5 is equal to 2x minus 1 times x minus 5. We get the exact same result if we multiply both sides by the lowest common denominator, but this is simply quicker. Now let's multiply things together. So we're going to multiply these together and then multiply these together. So this becomes x times 2x, which is 2x squared. x times negative 5 minus 3 times 2x. And minus 3 times a negative 5 becomes a plus 15 equals. On the right side, we multiply these two together. And then we multiply these two together. So we have 2x times x, which is 2x squared. Uh, we have uh, minus 10x, minus 1x, and plus 5. Now let's combine like terms on both sides. So here we have 2x squared minus 11x plus 15 is equal to 2x squared minus 11x plus 5. Now here, let's take a look. Notice that on both sides, we have a 2x squared, and on both sides, we have a minus 11x. So we can subtract those from both sides, which means that this cancels out this, and this cancels out this, and we're left with 15 is equal to 5. But hey, that's kind of strange, because we know that's not the case. 15 can never be equal to 5. In other words, no matter what value we plug in for x, this can never be true. And since this can never be true, we have no possible value for x to make that true. And therefore, there is no solution to this equation. There's no value for x that will ever let 15 equal 5. And that is how it's done.